I actually overdosed myself. Um, last September, it was actually on my birthday. Um, I had spent a month in jail um, and got out and spent about another month clean and sober, actually. Um, and then woke up on my birthday and I was hurting so bad I didn't even want to get out of bed. Um, and so, you know, my great idea thought, oh, I'll do just a little bit. I don't even want to do enough to get high. I just want to ease the pain a little bit. And knowing that I was a previous addict, I knew that pain pills and Tylenol and stuff like that it wasn't going to help me. Um, so I was with my sister-in-law and my brother. Um, my brother left. He would kill me if I did not clarify that. And of course, he lectured me a bunch before he left. And um, my sister-in-law, I actually went to her and she was like, okay, she goes, don't tell your brother, he'll kill me. Um, and I, I don't know if it was just the the inexperiencedness of it, of being sober, um, but being off of it for two months, I just, you know, prepared it how I usually do. So you put it in, you, you know, put the heroin in this little um, tin cooker and put some water in there and then you could, you know, light it to where the water boils, and, you know, mix it up, put the cotton, drop it in there and then tuck it into the syringe and I injected it and next thing I know I was just way messed up and I thought I laid back on the floor because I was sitting on some steps of hers she, she lives in she rents like an attic area um, and I was sitting on the stairs and I thought I had like laid back and apparently I had like fallen hardcore and like ended up with my face in an ice cream cake. And next thing I know, I woke up to about seven paramedics standing around me saying, hey, guess what, you overdosed. And if it were not for my sister-in-law knowing what to do with Narcan, I, I would be dead.